people still don't know what Little Manila is. They know the Crosstown Freeway, which is great, and then you say it's St. Mary's Church, like it's where I crossed from there, but they don't know what Little Manila is. My name is Kyle Sabatino, I'm a graphic design graduate, and this is the Little Manila Recreated Project. By the 1940s, Stockton's Little Manila neighborhood was the largest Filipino community outside the Philippines. It was demolished to make way for the Crosstown Freeway. We're creating 3D and virtual reality games to help educate people about Little Manila. So we are gathering history and research and putting it together to form like a cohesive dialogue and set up the structure for the uh, digital majors to build upon in the actual digital like creation of the virtual reality game. My role is to basically make sure that this game is an educational game and has some kind of educational objective. So what I'm doing is working with the humanities team and the modeling team to get their ideas together and make it into an actual functional game. The previous fellowship, they made it into a standard video game, one that you would normally play on your computer with a mouse and a keyboard. But this summer, in this fellowship, I'm working to convert that regular video game into a virtual reality experience. So I've been working a lot with the humanity team to make sure that the images that you view on the uh, widget of information that the user might see is readable through the virtual reality headset versus, let's say, a computer monitor. These people still know the area, so you can't like BS the area. You have to make it accurate from the photos we're doing and then they can correct us on it. I look at that freeway every time I get on it I say that's where my dad's service station was. I drive over it every day you know and my heart breaks because it's not there to to remember like it was. I think the project is, is just magnificent. There were so many things that were the same. It was just kind of nice to walk back into those memories you know. It was really interesting to see like, these people are in their 70s, 80s, but they still remember the area like it was yesterday. 